guys today I wanted to do another astrology video today I'm going to be talking to you guys about my favorite astrology books and um, I will have them all linked down below I only have two I don't know why I'm saying all these books um, but I have two books that I reach for you know pretty frequently whenever I want to you know read up on astrology or kind of just learn because I'm always still kind of you know learning and understanding every you know the aspects of astrology the different types and um, I wanted to actually show you guys everything in the video so you guys can kind of like check it out um, the first book that I want to talk to you guys about is the only astrology book you'll ever need and this is by Joanna Martin Wolfolk um, got these both on Amazon FYI so um, they came super fast I think part of prime shipping so that was great um, this look it looks like this it's a really cool cover it's got um, all the signs in the wheel there and this book is really cool for learning really in depth about the signs it's really cool I think it's just a great book um, it like shows you it can um, really go into depth of you know not only your sun sign but also your other signs of the zodiac as well um you can look up you know what sun sign not sun sign but what your moon sign is what your sign in venus mercury mars pluto neptune uranus saturn Je jupiter you know all of it um the only thing though about this book that i do have to say as opposed to an actual birth chart is this book doesn't go off of by your location it just goes by off by your date of birth so for example my birth chart says that my moon is in an Aquarius sign whereas in this book it says that my moon is a Pisces which I think is interesting because I'm just like hmm I don't know if it's a cusp or not um, which I'm kind of interested to know because I can kind of relate to you know my Pisces the Pisces side but I can also see more of an Aquarius side as well so I'm not sure if there's like cusps for the planets in the moon um, if you guys know let me know because I'd love to know that um, but basically your birth chart is by you know what time you were born the location you were born stuff like that so whereas this is a little bit more general because obviously it's not gonna have every single time of the day it's just this book would be a million pages long um, so it's kind of interesting to see like what's where and it really just goes in depth breaking it down kind of explaining everything for you so if you're really new to astrology and you want to get into it I highly recommend this book um, it gives you lots of in-depth detail about the signs and everything um, which I'm pr if I do if I do decide to do like more of an in-depth video of like each of the signs I'm gonna be grabbing for this book and like reading up because obviously I know the most about my own sign and I know some more you know about other signs than others just because of you know personal experience and who I know in my life it's really cool really cool book um, it kind of I do have to say though it kind of gets a little confusing because it kind of talks about how to like make your own birth chart and like mapping it all out I'm like there's a place called the internet for that so <laughs> I think it's a little like oh my god but um you know if you want to learn about the signs if you want to know more about like it talks about like relationships with the signs um stuff the signs should be aware of um and then more about like just like your personality talking talking about cusps um which you guys if you guys don't know cusps are when you are born between that kind of gray area where it's like transitioning into the next sign so like for example my sister she was born june 21st um she is technically a gemini cancer cusp so you know she kind of carries both of the traits of a gemini and a cancer um which is kind of cool so it covers all of that again i will link it down below if you guys want to go check it out it's an awesome awesome book highly recommend it now if you want to get this is probably something a little bit more if you really want to get into this realm well this isn't really an astrology book it kind of talks about it um but it's more broken down i think this is just a really cool reference book to have um it is called the power of birthdays stars and numbers the complete personality reference guide this it looks like this i also got this on amazon the same time i purchased the other book which you know goes day by day and I'll go to my birthday, November 3rd. 
Do, 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 do. Okay. So, November. It says my sun sign is a Scorpio. My descent, descendant is a Pisces. Does that mean the moon sign? See, again, see, I don't, see, that's interesting. Mode fixed, element water. Interesting, interesting, interesting. And then it goes into, um, like, your secret self and work and vacation, vocation, numerology, love and relationships, how you are. Um, see, it says, like, although you may seem quite down to earth, you are idealistic and romantic with powerful yet sensitive feelings. You are usually willing to work hard to bring stability to your relationships and possess natural diplomatic skills when needed. If your strong emotions become blocked, however, you may experience changing moods or become dependent on your partner. You possess the ability to be both devotional and caring, yet tough and dutiful with those you love. You need people and are very sociable. Interesting. It's pretty, it's, it's, it's really cool. And then it talks about, um... Among these born on the following dates, you might find a partner who will understand your love, your need for love and variety. And then it talks about like love and friendship. And I guess if these people have these birth dates, that means like, like they'd be good for whatever aspect it is like love and friendship. I have a friend who's born on January 12th, which is interesting. February, my mom, February 20th. That's in March 18th. Interesting. Ha ha ha. And then it talks about beneficial, fatal attractions, challenging soulmates. Uh oh, my boyfriend's birthday's not on there. Oh no. Interesting though. Um, it's really cool. And then, you know, if you want to like, I think my, um, my one friend who brought, um, got me into astrology, she, I think she has this book or something very similar to it where it basically breaks down, you know, um, the birthdays and everything. And she brought it, we were having a girls' night, she brought it over, and we were all, like, you know, reading over it. It was fun. It was a lot of fun to see, like, you know, the, because it's, I know it's more, you know, the sun, like, astrology is more about, like, the planets and stuff, whereas this is, like, more numbers-based, which is kind of cool. Um, but again, I will link these all down below. Um, if you guys want me to do, again, a more in-depth video talking about each individual sign or if you want me to talk about, like, the signs itself and its element, like water signs together, air signs together, earth signs together, fire signs together, let me know because I want to kind of get a feel for what you guys really, really want. So, um, yeah, if you guys have any comments or want to leave anything, recommendations, questions, whatever, let me know in the comments below. I would love to answer them. I love talking about this stuff. Um, but until then, I will talk to you guys later. Bye!